hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll see how to create a simple notification service that is sns using serverless what we'll do today is we have an, we'll be creating this particular architecture we'll have an sns topic the topic will have two subscriptions one is sqs the other one will be lambda will have a publisher that will publishing message to this that will be a lambda this whole architecture will cover in two parts in the first part that is today we will cover sns we will attach subscription that is sqs and manually we will publish a message in sns and it should be visible in sqs so this is the first part and in the second part we will cover we'll push a message in sns using aws lambda as an api Lambda will push this message and we'll have two subscribers one is SQS and the another one is Lambda. The same message will be processed by two subscribers. Let's go ahead and create architect. So I have already set up this in VS code. So this is a serverless YAML file where we specify everything that is needed. This is my service name. The provider is AWS. Runtime is Node 14 since we are using Node. Lambda hashing version. The stage in which we will be deploying is either dev set UAT. In the region we will be deploying it. The stack, stack name that get created while we are deploying these resources. In the deployment bucket that is basically the bucket where we just will upload this folder this is a project that is bucket this bucket we have already created which is being used through plugin that is serverless deployment bucket and the resources we will be creating is we will be creating a resource this topic and we'll have a subscription this and that is a queue that queue is getting created here my first queue which will have delay in so these are basic queue properties this is the minimum setup that we need to have a queue and this policy to be attached as well which is a queue policy you can send a message into the queue that is to sns this message is coming and the resources is the action which is being performed is send a message in message batch it is not required because we will be sending only in message message the condition is from where this message is coming but then this particular topic no one is able to add a message to this queue because the queue policy says this so other than this topic no one should be able to send a message this is the basic setup that we need to do and we normally do a serverless deploy this is the beauty of serverless serverless deploy have an open stage This is basically a parameter that we are dynamically passing while deploying this. What it is doing while it is deploying, let, let us go ahead and have a look at the serverless ML file. The op.stage file. So whatever is specified in stage in our parameter while in, in the CLI, this value it takes and it sets the value to this particular variable. Wherever it, we have written op dot state, it will replace it with tab. The stack stack name will be self colon service. Self means this file this service. This this everything is dynamic. We can deploy the same code with into multiple environments just by replacing this. From that dev, we'll see SID or UAT. The same code base with with parameter can be used to deploy this way we will set up the pipeline let's see how much it is done Being created let's go ahead and the cloud formation template is nothing yet in this template would be one let's get because it is it is now creating it has creating so I will it is the stack name is we have specified in yaml file that is 
Tech name is service. So let's type in essence. This tech name. Which are the curry creating? So the thing seems to be created. This tag is created completely. Let's go ahead and see how many topics we have. We have one topic that is dev my first SNS topic name we have specified here while creating this. Dev my first SNS. And we have something here. This endpoint my first queue. They are in our queue. It is, this is done. Queue. We have an queue here. This we have one queue. And these are the basic properties that we have set up. Creating a queue that is still a maximum message size, maximum visibility time. These are the basic configuration. We have a subscription as well, and let's see the access policy. The policy. How SNS will be send a message. This so will be queue. Where it is coming will be my first. Er and I have specified is not right. It should be A R N. We deploy it. Because uh, without this permission, it should not work. If I try to let show you the main thing, which is the policy, permission policy. Put this policy policy. You should send. You try to send it. Suppose the message is published to the queue. We have any message in queue. Check this events get complete. This year, okay. the policy is this one message. This is a two name. We pull from message. We have one message now because this is sent from. If we see the details of this, is the basically metadata body the type is notification, message ID is this. Message properties type is notification notification and we have sent while published it from SNS and the message hello from SNS subscribe URL if you don't want to receive this message this in subscription in URL message attributes name type attributes we have sent this time. now we are able to send a message from an sns to a queue this first part of the lambda of this architecture now what we'll do in the second part is we'll try to create one publisher lambda 
will be an API endpoint that API will send a message to SNS and then we'll have a subscriber lambda which is attached to this message then it should be good so we are done for part one we'll see in in second part tomorrow thanks for watching please like and share this channel please do subscribe thank you